often called a specter or phantom, is the spirit or soul of a deceased person that can appear in many different forms or manifestations. It is based on the belief that the soul and the body coexist separately and that the person's spirit may continue to live on after the body is gone. History has produced encounters with these paranormal entities which often include unexplained voices or physical phenomena. Descriptions of the appearance of such phantoms vary widely. They are often said to be translucent, wispy figures, or even lifelike, realistic visions. Many of these tales have involved significant historical figures such as politicians or writers. Many of them died from mysterious causes or in violent ways. The spirit of a dead person may turn into a ghost because it had some sort of form of unfulfilled purpose in the living world. Some stories often tell of ghosts seeking vengeance. A dead person may also take the form of a ghost as a sort of imprisonment to punish the wrongdoings they may have committed during life. Parapsychologists suggest the possibility of imprint or energy hauntings, which believes that hauntings are the result of stored energy from spirits or events, often replayed like a video in a never-ending loop. Continual footsteps may ascend the same flight of stairs they had while the person was living, all because of this idea of an imprint haunting. The belief in ghosts, or spirits of the dead, dates back to pre-illiterate animistic societies. Rituals such as funeral rites, spiritual magic, or exorcisms took place, specifically aimed at the souls of the deceased. The ancient Egyptians were among the first to establish the idea of the human soul, which they often depicted symbolically as a bird or other animals. When the soul passed over to the dead, it held the exact features it held in the living world, all the way down to the clothes the person wore. Many of these various depictions have been found in the Egyptian Book of the Dead, showing deceased people in the afterlife appearing much as they did in the living world. In ancient China, the story of Tu Po, the deceased minister to King Sen, whose ghost had reportedly killed the king, took ground around 827 BC. Philosopher Mo Tzu believed that unless the story could be proven to not be true, it had to be accepted. Mu Tzu was directed by this belief that in order to determine whether something existed or not, you had to depend on the testimony of the ears and eyes of a multitude of different sources. One of the earliest known ghost sightings was in Athens, Greece, around 74 BC. The sighting, described in a letter written by Pliny the Young, spoke of the story of a Thenderos Canaanites. The Stoic philosopher rented a large Athenian house to investigate the rumors that it was haunted. As Athenderos waited during the night, an aged specter appeared to him. The spirit beckoned Athenderos to follow him, but the ghost soon vanished. Athenderos marked the spot in the ground where the ghost had disappeared, and the following day magistrates dug out the shackled bones of a man. After a proper burial ensued, the haunting ceased. In 856 AD, another groundbreaking story was uncovered in Germany when the family inhabiting a farmhouse had supposedly been tormented by a ghost. The ghost was reported to have thrown stones and started fires. This is significant because this was the first ever recorded poltergeist which is a ghost that causes physical disturbances such as making noises or moving objects. Some of the most frequently reported ghost stories have dealt with queens or presidents. The ghost of Anne Boleyn, the second wife of Henry VIII and mother of Queen Elizabeth, has been commonly cited over the past several decades. In 1536, she had been accused of witchcraft, treason, incest, and adultery, 
and was executed at the Tower of London. Her ghost has been reported at the Tower as well as at her childhood home in Haver Castle, Kent. America also has its own rich tradition of ghost stories. One of the first was the sighting of the ghost of Benjamin Franklin. Beginning in the late 19th century, there were reports that Franklin's ghost had appeared near the Library of American Philosophical Society in Pennsylvania. Some reports held that the statue of Franklin in front of the library had reportedly come to life. Another famous American ghost was that of Abraham Lincoln. In 1956, as the 16th President of the United States, Lincoln was assassinated. Reports of his ghost wandering near the old Springfield Capitol building, as well as his nearby offices, have been made. Everyone from first ladies to queens to prime ministers have reported to have seen the ghost of Honest Abe. When we think of ghosts, not many immediately think of presidents. Many people aren't even aware of these stories. But if you think about the way in which Lincoln died, the goals he still had to achieve, it's not surprising that perhaps he had left something behind. In addition to famous people, certain locations have also been said to be haunted. Ghosts are often thought to haunt particular locations, objects, or even specific people they might have been associated with during their lifetime. Stories of haunted houses, ships, trains, or even animals have been recounted throughout history. Modern day analysts are very skeptical concerning the existence of ghosts. They have attributed hauntings to a number of ordinary physical phenomena, such as pressure changes, super sensitive peripheral vision, hallucinations, and even outright hoaxes. However, ghosts continue to carry their weight in society. Several American states require real estate agencies to disclose incidences of paranormal activity in houses they sell. Approximately one person out of every ten claims to have had some sort of otherworldly experience with some sort of paranormal phenomenon. One location not commonly thought of as being a hoarder for ghost activity is one of the most populated cities in the world, New York. Stories have arisen concerning Peter Stuyvesant, the city's last Dutch colonial governor. Today, ghosts are seen as a sort of Hollywood art. Ghost parodies have run riot, and hundreds of movies have been made about them. Movies such as the Ghostbusters have shown how this phenomena is seen almost as a ghost, and how the world's view on these things are constantly changing.